Good morning. Mm -mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I need some help today from my makeup products. I'm at the tail end of this ugh, horrible cold that's like chesty. So many people I know have got it right now. Chest infection-y, sinus-y loveliness. So this makeup look I did in my last video. It is super easy, looks very chic, lasts all day. All of the things we need. So I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna start with the Omaravitsa Omar Essence. Really nice toner slash essence. It's a nice way to get your skincare started. I just need hydration. Oh, la, la, la. I'm not gonna go super crazy with my skincare. I'm literally gonna use Skin Nova next. I'm gonna do a couple of pumps of this. Oh, I'm gonna bring that down my neck. It works great as a primer, but it also has really amazing skincare benefits, so it's just gonna really help us, help us out today. From here, I'm actually gonna go straight into my SPF. I get asked a lot what order you should do primer and SPF or Skin Nova and SPF, and honestly, you can switch it around if you like. Skin Nova leaves your skin feeling nice and sticky, which I like. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 400. It's a SPF of 50 plus. It's my favourite SPF. I've been trying out loads of different ones lately. I always go back to this. Always. Do you see the slight stickiness? That is going to work perfect with our makeup. Foundation, again, because my skin's feeling quite dry um, and just a bit like, tired at the moment, I'm going to use the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation in the shade 6. This is fab. I think it's sold out everywhere and it's beautiful. I can see why. I'm just using all of my Vive makeup brushes for this look. I've literally got my pot. These are I'm trying to see the truth. I've been terrible. I've not been looking after myself. I went on my stupid Peloton for my stupid health yesterday. These are my brushes. They don't look that bad. They definitely need water. So I'm just buffing that in with my 117 foundation brush. Oh, this foundation really is lovely. I was just, I think, really happy to see Charlotte coming out with a foundation that was medium coverage. I felt like they had a really light coverage with the light wonder, and then they had really full coverage with like magic foundation and the airbrush flawless finish. This is definitely my favourite Charlotte foundation. And you can see that foundation's got good enough coverage, it's just covered up my little spot. If you're in the market for a new foundation at the moment, I've got three new favourites. They're all quite natural finish but buildable, so like medium, light to medium but buildable with a really nice finish. So have a look at the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer, have a look at the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and then have a look at the Charlotte Tilbury. And if you're a makeup maniac, I could justify why you need all three also. Because they're all quite different. They're all quite different in finish and texture and coverage. It's currently 8 in the morning and I think my last event today will finish at about 11 so this makeup needs to last. I'll like touch it up but I won't have to do much tint because it really does last, really does last all day. I'm happy with that, it's really streak free and see when I'm buffing my foundation in I use circles and then I'll pat on top. I think that that's what gives me the nicest, the nicest finish. Okay concealer, I'm going to use Oldie But Goodie, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the shade Ginger and we're going to go right under these eye bags. So just really targeted concealer. I'm gonna go here because I'm a bit puffy and then I love to add that coverage back in my forehead and then just because my nose is so red from blowing it I'm gonna just add concealer right around there. And I'm actually just gonna go back in with my foundation brush, my 117. I'm gonna pat that out and then when I go under my eyes I'll change my brush to the conceal and prime. Sometimes as well I think if you're not feeling your best and you do your makeup, when you look better you can trick yourself into feel thinking that you're feeling better. I'm gonna swap over to my conceal and prime brush, this is the 119. And this brush is just the perfect size and shape to get it right under. I'm gonna set it here. I'm gonna do layers of setting spray, okay? So I'm gonna use my all nighter, my classic. And I'm going to let that dry. Now that's dried, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. This is the classic translucent powder. And I'm taking that on my precision powder brush from Vive. And we're going to sweep that under the eyes. And I'm being quite firm with my brush just to really work that powder in. But I don't want to, I don't want to bake. I want to keep the layers really nice and light. Move on my forehead, smile lines. And around my nose again. And actually see through your brow as well if you're like me and you use quite a lot of skincare and it's quite glowy. When you go to draw your eyebrows on they can be a little bit too slidey so don't forget to powder around your eyebrows, right? Let's finish off our base. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I'm pretty sure that this is all back in stock and I'm going to keep it super high, almost like on my cheekbone. 
I'm not gonna do anything around my chin because I feel like there's more times for me that that goes completely wrong than right because I've not really got any foundation down my neck either because the match is nice. I'll just do a little dusting. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna pat this out. And because there's a little bit of foundation left on my brush, it's gonna just help it blend and travel exactly where I need it to. I feel like when you pat with this brush, you get the same finish as a beauty blender almost. And then here I'll use my circles, just circular motions to buff that right up and into the hairline. So that gives us a nice start to add in some depth to the face. What we're gonna do now is swap. I'm gonna use the 121 Blush and Bronze brush and I'm gonna go in with Medium One first from the Vive Modern Bronzer. And I'm gonna use that right over top Keeping it again nice and high, nice and rounded towards the temples. And placing your bronzer here really lifts the face. Can we just talk for a second about my nails? These are my natural nails. I've got Biab, which is like a builder gel, so it makes your nails stronger, but that's my natural nails. It's very exciting times. And then I'm going to take my bronzer and go side of my nose and underneath. I'm going to go back in with my precision powder brush and I'm going to go in with shade number two in the modern bronzer. So this is medium two and I'm going to keep this really small at the back of my cheeks. So see if I show you here. I'm just going to build that right at the back just to add that little bit more depth. And then I'm going to take that shade down the sides of my nose as well. You can take a little bit of that shade around the jaw if you like as well. It's like a softer approach to doing a full on cream contour. Next for the skin, we're going to use, I'm quite obsessed with this, I really like it. This is the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. It's just like a cream blush, a cream blush and a lip balm in one. And I'm actually just going to go straight in with my brush. This is my powder and bronze brush actually, it's huge. But see when you go in with something like this and tap on the colour, you get this beautiful diffused colour. You don't need to worry about going too much. And I'm bringing that right up to my temples. Do you see? Oh my god, what? Smells nice. Oh my god, do you know what it smells like? It smells a little bit like Vive Lipsticks. But it's very nice, like, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then while I'm here, because we're barely using any eyeshadow, I can finish off my skin, I'm gonna use the Vive Skin Dew. Tiny bit on the pad of my thumb. You just rub your palms together, rub your thumb pads together, and then we're gonna bounce that. And that, <laughs> that is immediately making me look much healthier. And again, I'm just going back in with my foundation brush just to pat that out a little bit. Very nice, okay. Let's zoom you in under our eyebrows. There you go, you can have a good look at the skin there. It feels very light on the skin, really easy to wear all day. And see with my nose ring, I just do this and wipe the foundation off. It usually works fine. Let's do our brows. I'm back on my bullshit. The Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5 from Benefit. I have a code for Benefit now. If you go on the Benefit website, and this isn't sponsored or anything, they just like let me know that they've given me a code. But if you go on the Benefit website and use the code JAMIE20, you can get 20% off all your products. Really good. And the code expires at the end of the year. So your brow routine, your brow routine's on me, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill my brows in using this. The shade 4.5 for me is really good in this. It's a nice, like, ashy brown. And then I just use my spoolie when I go too far. <laughs> Add a little bit of thickness to the arch. And I'm kind of using my pencil and going back on myself to get a slightly faded front. I'm going to put my brow gel through. So this is my 24 hour brow setter. And then I'm going to tidy them up afterwards because I think if we're going for this darker skinny brow. It might look good. I just need to tidy them right up. And I'm not going to stick my hairs up too much. I'm cleaning them up with a little bit of concealer and my precision packer brush. Let's use some Gummy Brow in the shade 4.5 also. I'm going to focus that on the front. So for the eye, for this look, it's definitely the key part to the lifted, the elevated. It's very minimal, but it does a lot. Okay. Me. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with my Vivi Wand and Sand. This is going to be our base. I'm going to literally scribble this on all over. Okay. Okay. I've done like a medium layer all over. I'm going to pat that out with my concealing prime brush and we keep the eyes super matte which I think just looks so good. I'm going to go in with the large eyeshadow blender, the 217, get loads of Laura Mercier translucent powder and then we're going to literally set the whole thing because a lot of the eye look is just the eye wand by itself and by using a layer of setting powder right over the whole thing it's not going to move. 
I have a new eyeliner. I've not tried this one before, so I'm putting a lot of faith in it, but I, I can't imagine that it's gonna be anything but excellent. This is the Hindash eyeliner. Uh, it's the liquid eyeliner. Really nice component, metal. It's got these kind of ribbed detail, silver metal, and then the eyeliner's obviously black. So my eyeliner for this look, I did actually do it a little bit differently. I started not at the end of my eye, basically. So I started around about here, like just, if I'm gonna make a little mark, round about there, and I'm gonna pull it out and then start working on the wing from there. I do end up tucking it under, but you'll see what, exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna start there, and then go on top. Wow, good eyeliner. And then I'm gonna go slightly under, just to connect that shape, but the lift that I've got from that wing is much better than what I usually would. I'm also gonna even out this shape. And I'm working a lot with my eye open. Now what I'm gonna do, and this makes a huge difference even though it's quite subtle, I'm gonna use the pen and I'm gonna go in my inner corner. So I'll actually just, now, the mistake that I make whenever I do that in a corner is I make it too obvious. Now, my eyes, they're set quite close together. So if I go too heavy on my inner corner, what it does is it makes my eyes look even closer together and it can accentuate the roundness of my eyes, which is something that I never usually do. I usually like to make my eyes look a little bit more like a cat eye, like an almond shaped eye. And what I've done is I've added the tiniest little line on the inner corner. So there's not that much product that can move around, but it's enough that it draws your eye somewhere maybe different than the usual. I'm gonna zoom you out so you can see. So there's the liner. I'm gonna add some shading around my eyes, but I'm gonna be quite careful not to do too much because I really like it when there's just a wing focus. I think there's something really clean about that. So I'm gonna go in with the shade medium two from the bronzer and I'm using my 221 eyeshadow smudger. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually focus here. So this is gonna make our eyes look really, really open. And I'm gonna connect the brow to my nose contour. And by using a shade like this, it actually looks really good. There's no way that you can make it look too like unnatural almost. If you've not tried this technique, you can do it with any eye makeup and it always looks really nice. So I'm just gonna blend that right into my like full crease that I'm making. And then I'm actually gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna do it really high up like here. So I'm not actually going in my crease at all. I'm keeping it about three millimeters above my natural crease. And if you feel like you've gone too far with the shading around your nose, you can just use your translucent powder eyeshadow brush just to tap that back. And you can also use that brush to do some blending too. I think that looks really nice. I'm gonna use a really light amount of medium to underneath my eye, but I'm not gonna go right under the lash line. I'm going slightly under and focusing that on the outer corner. And again, this is just gonna make her eyes look bigger. Okay, let's do mascara. I have been using the Urban Decay Wild Lash Mascara so much. It gives really nice volume, really nice lift, and it doesn't move. So for me, that's a winning combination. And I actually, I'm gonna wear lashes today as well. So this eyeliner is just like a kind of larger version of what I did in my last video. But the key is that inner corner, that tiny amount on the inner corner just com can completely change your eye shape. And I'm gonna add mascara to my lower lashes too. For my lashes, I'm gonna use the Vive Half Lashes in the style Smoky. This is just gonna add a really nice amount of drama for the outer corner, really nice for a winged out eye, especially a liner. I'm gonna drop off the inner corner actually because I just want the length and the fluffiness. Oh yeah, it's like a little sprig, a little sprig of lovely fluffiness. And we'll just wait for that to dry a little bit and then we're gonna squeeze it with our own lashes. Okay, I've just done my little freckle. And we're nearly done. I'm gonna build up the mascara just on this inner corner so they blend. For the lips for this look. I think it's kinda, it's kinda inspired by K-Beauty. There's a really beautiful trend and it's almost like a blushed lip. This is quite similar. So the lip liner I'm gonna use is the Vive Modern Lip Definer in Aphrodite, which is just a really beautiful, cool toned pink brown. And I'm gonna do my usual, I'm gonna overdraw in the center, which I'll just do right now and show you. 
and I'm going to bring that down. So I use the side of the pencil to blend it towards my lip. So that's how it's got the base of our lip liner. I'm then going to use the shade Bark to get a little bit extra definition. It's just a tiny bit darker. Then I'm going to take the Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Promise. This is a lot warmer and I'm going to just apply this to the centre of my lips. Okay, so you can see that on the outside it's quite cool toned, it's a bit darker, but on the inside you've got this lovely bright rosiness. And then to finish that off, I'm actually going to top it with the gloss. This is the Vive Lip Dew. I swear, these lip combos, these lip combos are elite. And I'm going to focus that just in the centre and then tap that out. I want to add just a little bit more rosiness to my cheeks, so I'm going to take my lipstick. I'm going to also apply it on my hands, just like I did skin dew. I'm going to tap my fingers together. Our eyeshadow packer brush, the 223, is actually amazing for our nose contours. You'll see if you just wanted to slightly pinch the bridge. It's the perfect shape to do that. And then to finish off, I'm actually just going to add a little bit of highlight. My little tin man nose, it's been a while. The last setting spray. And I'm going to go get changed, fix my hair, and I'll be right back. This literally changes the game. Look at this. Who is that fine looking babe? This is the best tool for the fringe ever. There you go, there's the finished look. Do you want to see the fit? See it from bloody far away, look. Good American jeans, NAKD jacket, Ghani t-shirt. I curled my hair last night and it's lasted quite good. And then I just did my fringe. These little hoops are Ashton and Miu. I've got all my jewelry back on. You guys know I love a little before and after. I feel like the before and after for this is gonna be excellent. And not only do I look better, I actually feel a lot better as well. Sometimes, you know, see when you're feeling a bit poorly, it's always the warning that you feel the worst. And then by the time that you've done your makeup, oh, I'm ready to take on the day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you like the makeup. I love it. I feel like this, about a lot of the looks that I do, I feel like I could wear this anywhere. Uh, and when I was scrolling through the last tutorials that I've done, stretched over the last six months, it's been a while since I did something as classic as this. There's method to the madness, the positioning of the eyeshadow, the way that we've done the wings, the kind of blotted lip that lasts really, really well. So I hope you love it. I'll link everything down below. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you've not caught my illness through the screen. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my god, my own nails are clicking. Let's see a bit of eyeliner on your face. Oh, is my brain not working? Uh, I'm going to trim them just a little bit. No, I'm not. Oh! Yes, I am. <coughs> oh my god, I actually feel like there's something living in my lungs at the bottom. I'm just going like that. Whoa, I really fucked this up. Oh my god, that was close. Look. I forgot to put that foot out. My money jumped, jiggle, jiggle, it falls. I feel like that's about a little bit. My bum's sticking to this chair because I'm sweating because my eyebrows. <laughs>